What's up, allies? Welcome to a new video. We have an update to Emerald Crate, update 128.24. And in this video, I'm going to be showcasing what these changes are. So if that's something you guys were interested in, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. Let's get right into this video. All right, so the first thing that was changed is added quick manual mode adjustment options for SPL, SPPT, and FPPT in command center. So in order to do that, we just go to operation mode here. We have to make sure that we're in manual mode, right? And here we set everything that we want and we call it beast. And so we hit apply. So it just gives you this warning here. I'm just going to hit yes. So now by doing so, if we hit the command center and go to manual, you can now change this on the fly. I think this is pretty cool. This has been a requested feature. So it's pretty cool to see this one here. So once you get what you want, just hit apply and you're good to go. And then you just remove it and you can continue gaming. So it's right here for you to adjust on the fly. So the other thing that changes that users can now assign the gyro enable feature to multiple buttons. So in order to do that, go to config here, go to game mode here, go to gyro here and then gyro enable button come here. So again, you have now a lot of buttons that you can enable gyro with. So choose whichever one you want. And you should be good to go here. So another feature that was added is a never show again option has been added to the campaign pop up. So this has been annoying to a lot of users when this campaign menu will pop up and it's just random. You can be in the middle of the game and this just pops up. But now when that pops up, you can hit a button that says never show again. And once you do so, that should stop that from happening. Personally, I haven't got that yet, but I'm looking forward to hitting that button once I get it. So it's pretty cool to see that Asus is listening. I know this was a headache for a lot of people. So nothing that was changed is new game profiles will have the upper end mode set to unside to prevent conflicts. I haven't ran into this issue, so I can't show you guys that, but let me know in the comments below. You guys have figured out how to do that one yet. But again, this is an update to Emerald Crate. It's pretty cool to see Asus just continue to make this device better and bring these updates to us users so another thing that asus addressed here is the amd fluid motion frames and stays here while amd has recently launched this feature and desktop platforms the driver still requires some testing on our end and then we'll await certification from amd before the final rgli release we know you're very excited to try this out we are too and we're working to get it to you as soon as possible so it's pretty cool to see them being aware of this and I can't wait for them to optimize this for the RG Ally. And when they do so, we'll make an updated video with that too. So stay tuned. So, all right, let us know in the comments below. What are your thoughts about this update? Appreciate you guys. We'll catch you guys in the next one. Until next time, peace out.